Hello, this is Michael O'Grady again, and welcome to another Flash episode. This time we're looking at uh, movie clips, a little more advanced than the last one, and we're going to control the movie clips with code, putting code for the first time on the frame. Let's have, just have a look at this movie. We've got uh, some clouds, a lamppost, and a car, and um, it sort of flashes. It's flashing with this... Uh, these blue text and the start stop buttons and the reason is that the movie is actually two frames long it plays to the end of the movie frame two and then goes back and start again but the content in uh, frame two is only on the theory layer and I've just done this to show you what I'm actually doing I've got the flash movie and in there I've got three movie clips I've named them clouds underscore MC and the underscore MC is a convention for saying that this object is a movie clip. So I've got post underscore MC and car underscore MC. If we click on the clouds in the actual movie and go to properties, you'll see that the instance name is clouds underscore MC, car underscore MC for the car and the post on the post layer is post underscore MC. All fairly logical. So what I need to do is make sure the playhead this little red line in the main movie doesn't go past frame one okay and all i do is add some action script onto the actions layer stop open and close brackets and a semicolon and now what happens is the movie stays in frame one and the movie clips that are under the playhead at that time play so the clouds move left to right as does the post and the car moves right to left okay i've also got some uh, stop and start buttons and you'll see one of the clouds has some lightning which uh, we'll just have a little look at so i've got one cloud shape and i've made three clouds out of it it's fairly simple um i've got several layers cloud one two and three and all these clouds do is just animate across the stage i've got a frame layer this is five pixels wider and taller than the frame just so i can position everything and then I'll put this on the stage um, so that the frame disappears. But you can see this cloud, this little one at the top, I've got some keyframes in here. I change it to red and yellow. It's rather quick, so you don't really see a lot of color change. But on this layer below, uh, the lightning, I've got three keyframes. And I've used a deco tool about halfway down on the left. Um, and in the properties, changed it to the lightning brush. Okay, and then you just drag lines of lightning out. Okay, and it produces vector shapes, which are these squiggly lightens, light, lightning bolts. Okay, <clears throat> so just draw them as many as you want on as many frames as you want. Uh, each frame is a 24th of a second, so it happens rather quickly. So here we've got uh, the car movie clip, and it's just the car going from right to left, and the post similarly left to right <clears throat> so back to the scene i've got all my objects on different layers and i've got two buttons on a buttons layer a start button called uh, start underscore btn and a stop button stop underscore btn so it's important to give these instance names in the properties okay so i'm going to stop the movie clips when the movie starts so that they're not working then use a start button to start them so i have to address address each movie clip in turn so the first one is clouds underscore mc and i'm going to tell it to stop its own playhead from playing and it's just dot stop open and close bracket semicolon so i talk to each of the three movie clips in turn telling them to stop and now when we run the movie control and enter the action isn't happening. Okay. <clears throat> we can see that everything's lined up there waiting to come in, but we've controlled each movie clip and told them to stop. So what I need now then is a little subroutine. Um, we type function. Um, sometimes it's called a method in different languages. This little function, I'm going to call it start action. And the format is we have an open and close brackets, uh, we return no data so we return void data and the doing elements sit between curly braces so we need open and close curly braces in the brackets here after start action we have to trap the uh, event handle handler 
information. The event is going to be a mouse event. So we're going to do a, a click. So it's a mouse event as opposed to a keyboard or a timer event. Be careful that it goes uh, blue. Um, it needs to be uh, typed uh, exactly. What I'm going to do is copy uh, the code from lines three, four, and five, and then change it from stop to play. So I'm when this function is run, each movie clip is going to be told uh, to play its uh, playhead. But I need to activate, I need an event to activate the start action function. So I'm going to run this when the start button is clicked and I have to tell the start button to listen out for um, a handler, uh, sorry, an event listener. So we had event listener, it needs to go blue, capital E, capital L. And what type of event is it? Well, we already know it's a mouse event, but there are various types, double click, uh, click, mouse down, etc. So it's C-L-I-C-K in capitals. So that's the first parameter. The second parameter is which function are we going to run? Well, it's the start action function. So we'll just copy and paste that in. And then close the brackets and run the movie. So now when we click start, the action starts. Okay, and if we keep on clicking it, it just tells the playhead to play and it's still playing, so that's no problem. So what we're going to do now is copy this function and change it for the stop action. Okay, the clouds we want to stop, the post stop and the car stop. <coughs> Okay, so obviously um, we've still got uh, the start action there. We're going to change that in a minute. And we also want to tell the stop button uh, that it is going to listen out for uh, a mouse event. It's going to be click. So let's call this function stop action. Double click it, control C, and then come down here, double click, control V, and run it again. So now we can start our action and stop start and stop and start plays from wherever it's playing from or wherever it was stopped so stop is really a pause now what we can do instead of play just play from wherever you it is we can tell it to go to a particular frame and stop or go to a particular frame and play so make sure it goes blue capital a capital p for and play and we need a frame number in here so we'll go to and play from frame one. So the clouds always go back to the beginning. We'll do the same with the post and we'll do the same with play. So when the play button is pressed, it always goes back to the beginning, which is everything off stage. Okay, so we'll pause that and then start up again. Now we don't have to go back to frame one. We can go to any frame uh, that we want. So if we start the clouds off at 50, the post at 20 and the car at 30 <coughs> and then run it as soon as we press start even for the first time it goes to those particular frames and every time we start it goes to those particular frames okay so that's <coughs> that's basically it we we're looking at controlling individual movie clip playheads and just as a reminder in the Flash movie, we dropped three children. The parent-child relationship was clouds, post, and car.